Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we're out here this morning working on this uh, cultivator. I did go over to the Amish store here. They uh, make these things, and he said he could make me a new frame so I could put the new s tine on here. So he'd make me a new bar. Thought about $750. I did get new shovels here, and that's what I'm going to put on here now this morning. Uh, Justin was here working on this here, put new bolts in and stuff. I put this together here yesterday, painted it up, so we just made it a little lot stronger here. New bolts, used the, the old pieces there, but yeah, that turned out really nice. The reason why I painted it, just so you can see when it starts to move a little bit. Um, and we did the same thing over here. Now my dad gave me this uh, little uh, cultivator, but it works really nice with this Ford. And I like to get one that's nine foot so we can actually put another one tine out here just to scratch between the two rows. So, but for now, uh, like I said before, we're in the process of this organic stuff. In the future, we can be right around 100 acres, uh, give or take. Um, so we wanna do things to see if we like doing it. Anybody can run a sprayer, burn down weeds, but uh, teaching Justin to run this, and and then I'll get a six row for my 43 put on there so he can actually cultivate. So I want everything set up nice for him, and, and he can enjoy it just as much as I do. So, and it's a little easier to watch two rows than six rows, so, but it's a lot less stress on you, I guess, going through the field with six row cultivator so for now this is just a learning curve for us here on the farm um, and uh, we're bringing you along as we uh, take on this journey with organic crops and we'll have soybeans to cultivate and stuff so this has the old uh, tine on it here they have the new s tines and they do not work on this setup but like i said uh my dad gave you this uh, to play with here on this Ford, and the Ford is very nice for cultivating. I really like that. Low profile and keeps seeing right around. Quiet, uh, burns very little diesel. I mean, I, I went through all the corn there, plus I did some other jobs with this tractor here, raking and tedding there a little bit, and it's still half a tank of fuel. So, very fuel efficient. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these uh, T, uh, what do you call them? Teeth or whatever, I guess. So, shanks or so. Put these on quick and then uh, come back at you. All right, guys. I just put these nine uh, sweet teeth on here, tooth or whatever you want to call it, sweeps, and uh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna replace a couple more bolts. Uh, Justin in here usually would be down here helping me, but they want to go to the library. They're doing some reading programs and stuff and. He's enjoying that. So you can clearly see it's raining yet again here in Milton, Pennsylvania. And uh, boy, the corn is really enjoying this and the soybeans and the hay ground. I was hoping to get some um, organic uh, potash, uh, the, the local uh, fertilizer place. They have that stuff on hand here, I think. I have to go check out that. Maybe we'll be doing some spinning here later on. To give that a little boost we can't put nitrogen on the alfalfa because it really doesn't need it and uh, like i said before it's really hard to get any kind of organic nitrogen but uh there is a company out there it's called uh, uh n-force or something like that and uh waiting for a response back he was gonna give me a price on a tote coming here to the farm <laughs> 